Alright. Should be going live. Any moment now, I will hear myself. And as soon as I hear myself, I'll know that the stream is working. I reset my internet, so things should live. work. Yeah, there we go. There I am. Go ahead and post to Twitter. And tweet has been posted. Cool. Now supposedly Lit is watching. But he's watching from an airport and I don't know if I'll actually see him in the chat. Uh, hopefully Lit, your phone is good enough to handle the stream. Because it would be unfortunate if I do this stream, but you're still unable to watch it. Let me make sure that audio is still synced up. Yep, audio is still synced up. Cool! So I'll let the opening of this game play through once more, and then I will go ahead and get started. Give people a chance to show up. Incidentally, I am streaming this a lot earlier than I normally would. Well, maybe like four hours earlier, somewhere around there. Because, you know, Liz at the airport and he's stuck waiting for his flight. Because that's what you do at airports. You wait for your flights. Also, you have people poking around in your butt. But since Lid is stuck waiting and doing nothing, I'm doing this stream to kind of keep him entertained. Alright, let me check over my notes real quick. Hmm. I have a general idea of what I'm going to be doing in this stream. Mainly, I'm heading into Mount Moon. I already started delving my way into Mount Moon in the last stream. And now we're going to finish it. That is the plan. You know, as long as we're in a dungeon, I think I'm going to go ahead and change borders. I'm not sure which border specifically. I have a few options. Uh, this one I'll save for Sylph. Maybe this one? This one could work. I kind of like that one. Or we could just go over here to the pencil drawing. It is not the least bit fitting, but it's an option, I guess, kind of. Uh, choices, choices. I'll just stick with this one for the time being. Alright, down into a battle I go. Have I caught a Zubat yet? I don't know if I caught a Zubat yet. I can't remember if Generation 1 showed you whether a Pokemon was caught or not. Yeah, I've caught a Zubat. So I won't waste my time with them. Alright, so in the first stream, or in the previous stream, I went down this ladder. Now we're going to go this way. Who do I want in the lead? Not Lantis is kind of important. Then again, all of us is important. Especially me and my sister. We're kind of important. Wouldn't you agree, Lit? Alright, there's gonna be a trainer right down below here. What? Don't sneak up on me! I didn't. I purposely went in front of you so you could see me. I could have snuck around you. But I decided that there wasn't much point in that. Oh good. Not Lantis is perfect for this fight. Hey! Lit was able to join. Cool. That means I won't feel like I'm alone in here. Huh. Actually, I'm not sure if Magnemite knows Thundershock yet. Either way, Not Lantis is definitely stronger than it. I definitely want to put a little focus on Not Lantis because need Not Lantis to get stronger than this. This is taking some effort. Incidentally, starting in Generation 2, Magnemites were a metal type Pokemon. 
which means Scratch would not be working as well as it is now. And it's not working well to begin with. It also means that in this game they are not weak to fire, so that's a thing. Alright, got a level. And Voltorb. One of the more dangerous Pokemon. Definitely one of the more da more dangerous Pokemon. Not Lance's defense not only went down, it went way down. Screech is a pretty good attack. I really like Screech. Alright, we need a different plan here. Let me in here. Yeah, you're gonna have to not do that. Okay. Defense didn't go down too bad. Well, it's going to! Hopefully I can finish it off with this hit. Yep. Awesome. And there's a really important level. Because now I finally know how to kick Pokemon. Twice! My Pokemon won't do. I have to find stronger Pokemon. Yeah, you kinda do. But I have a feeling that you'll just stand there for all time. In most of the games, after you defeat trainers, that's it. They just stand there. Generation 2 kind of mixed things up, because you could refight trainers. That was fun. In this game, though, nope. You fight it once and move on. Level 6 Zubat is really not a big deal. I am up for the experience. Potion, good, kinda need that. It might take a while to deal with all the random encounters in this place, but it's worth it. Go through this cave to get to Cerulean City. Ah, thanks for the advice. We shall wait, wait, what? Hold on a sec. You're gonna give us advice and then suddenly battle? I mean, I guess there are worse ways you could start a battle with us. You could accuse us of touching you. What are you doing with a level 10 Caterpie? Man, these 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 bug catchers just don't know how to evolve their Pokemon. Actually, Dorkly did a skit on that. It's like the the video is called um the problem with bug catchers or something like that. But it's like a trope where bug catchers only have the basic bug Pokemon, never evolve them, or at least never evolve them beyond their cocoon form. Speaking of cocoon forms... Alright, does this Metapod no tackle? Hmm. I don't know. Personally, I would not want to live my life inside a cocoon. I don't care what kind of connection I'd have with my trainer, I would want out of that thing. And another Caterpie. Well, I can't complain too much. It's easy experience. Alright, as soon as you get to level 13, not Lantis, that'll be good enough for the time being. We'll switch to somebody else. I lost. Zubat is tough, but 
It can be useful if you catch one. Uh, I already went over this in the last stream. They are not very fun to train. Rare candy. Oh, that is... Mmm. Instant level up for Pokemon. I would want to save it until... Right after somebody levels up. Because otherwise it would be a bit of a waste. And an escape rope. So if I need to skedaddle, that's instant teleportation out of this dungeon. Oh, that has that that trainer has grass Pokemon, I think. I am almost certain of it. Bring him Pepe for this fight. Wow! It's way bigger in here than I thought. Yeah. Viridian Forest is a pleasant stroll compared to this place. I was right! It's a grass Pokemon. And now it's a dead Pokemon. Oh wow, critical hit and it didn't didn't faint. That, that's actually surprising. Never mind that, critical hit and it's super effective. But hey! Critical hit twice! That's cool. Then Bellsprout. I think Bellsprout... Hmm... I don't know. Oh yeah, now I remember. Ah, there's that special. In Generation 1, special attack and special defense were collected in one stat. They were not separated until Generation 2. Which means every time, every time Bellsprout uses that attack, both its special attack and its special defense go up. So it's kind of a good thing that's all it did. Although I don't think it would have been able to cause much tr uh, much uh, of a problem against Pepe. Oh, I lost it. How do you get out of here? Well, the exit is right down that way, but there's also quite a bit of distance this way. Probably would have been helpful had you had an escape rope, like I do. Escape ropes are pretty dang handy. Hmm. Ooh, confusion! I forgot- I forgot that, um... Confusion caused confusion. That was handy. Alright, Notlantis, it's your turn again. Let's head down this ladder. I think there's, yeah, another Team Rocket member. I'll ignore you for the moment. I want this! TM01! Yes! Yes, I want that. My gosh, do I want that! Mega Punch! So, Pikachu, in general, does not learn very much outside of electric attacks. So, this is definitely something that Ashu is going to get. Mega Punch is pretty decent attack. It doesn't have the greatest accuracy, but this early in the game, it is worth having. Um, better than Quick Attack... Maybe. Do I want to remove Growl or Quick Attack? I might remove Growl. No. Quick Attack. Gotta be able to Growl our way to another trainer or another Pokemon if we need to switch out. Alright. So, that's a thing. Make a punch. Has 20 PP. That's good. Plenty of hits. Alright, let's deal with a random encounter. It's a Geodude!
Yeah, I like having you here a lit, but um, I don't need you here for that long. What am I doing? What am I doing? Switch to somebody who can actually do something. Like me! Now that I know a fighting type attack, kind of makes Diddy obsolete. I mean, look at this. Boom. And boom. Two attacks. That's pretty good. Uh, another one of those will probably defeat you. And I want to try to catch you. Oh gosh, nope, nope, nope. We're not doing that. Alright, caught Geodude. Uh, this game was before Triple Kick. Or are you just making a joke? Alright, Geodude, the rock Pokemon. Commonly found near mountain trails, etc. If you step on one by accident, it gets angry. Well, I'd imagine anything would get angry if you stepped on it. Wanna give a nickname? No. Now let me see if I can dodge the sight of this Team Rocket member, cause... The tile I'm standing on... is his range of sight. But maybe I can use the battle to step away from it. Nope! We're pulling a big job here! Get lost, kid! Um... Red can't really get lost if you're challenging him to a fight. Okay, um... La La Not Lantis can go ahead and handle this until it gets confused. Cause I'm certain confusion will happen. And there it is! Glad not Lantis managed to hit, but it's not worth continuing. Bring in somebody who can deal with this with ease. The obvious choice. Oh, that was unfortunate. Time to be unfortunate back. Yep, that was unfortunate, alright. Uh, gonna have to try that Mega Punch at some point, but since it isn't that accurate, it's not worth taking chances for this particular situation. However, now we got Ekans. Punch that Ekans. And get wrapped. Okay, maybe you should have paralyzed it first. Nope! Whatever, Erica can handle this. Oh, that's a little concerning right there. Alright, that's what I was hoping it would use. You can't poison Erica. Erica is poison. Well, actually, I would say Grimer and Muck are poison. But us Needles are a close second. So, you are good. Alright, I just caught a Geodude. Am I able to get the special animation? Yep. So, I decided to look up uh, Pikachu's animations in this game, and one of the special triggers is right after you catch a Pokemon. Pikachu does the peace sign, just like Ash does from the TV show. Which actually is further evidence that this is basically Ash reincarnated. Hence, Ash Chu. If you find a fossil, give it to me and Scram. No! 
I need it for my Pokedex. Ooh, an either. That's gonna come in handy. Alright, what we got here? Just another Zubat. Oh gosh, it's level 11. I don't wanna! Maybe not Lances can handle it. Gotta get to that level 13. It doesn't learn anything at level 13. I just wanted it at level 13. Oh, nice. Eh, one more time. See how much progress you can make. Okay, we can definitely do this. Not very easily, but you can do this. Level up? No. This is why I bought potions. So consider giving Ashachu or Ashu a potion as well. Yeah, Red, give Ashu a potion. Because one of the things that affects Pikachu's happiness in this game is healing at uh, Pikachu. I think it like adds five points of happiness, which is a good amount. All right, trainer right here. You I'm gonna sneak up behind. Or Red is. Did you come to explore too? Nah, just came to murder a bunch of Zubaz and find a few items. Also, we're kinda trying to get to Cerulean City. Oh, Radita. Gotta do that special color. We do not need a brown Radita. Not unless it's the Alola Radita. These are not the Alola Radita. Let's get in a few sand attacks. Because not Lantis is running out of scratches. And quick attack sucks. One more. Oh gosh. And thin heal. Miss? Nope, not miss. It'll miss eventually. There's a miss. Now, ideally, we'll get through the rest of this fight without being hit again. No, no, sand attacks apparently were not as helpful as I had hoped. Might have been faster and less painful just to scratch it. There's that level up we wanted. Another Rattata? Nah, that's alright. Let's see here. Not sure. Ah, shoot. Let's get some paralysis in there. That quick attack's gonna be very dangerous. Yeah. Paralysis and then switch again. Let's see if we can get Erica up to level 12. Cause she can learn double little double kick also. Fully paralyzed, cool. I think officially, the Pikachu form of Ash is actually called Ashachu, but I'm going off the name that Koshi Dragon Knight used for his comic. Alright, good. Level 12. There's some more double kick. If I was patient enough, I could have got us to level 12 before we fought Brock. Wouldn't have needed a Mankey then. Zubat, 
Uh. Oh. Zubats aren't purple. Oh, you would do that. You know what? Nope. I'm not dealing with that noise. Let's go to Potion Inn before we switch to Ash to two. Alright, don't you dare Supersonic again. Okay, you dared. But you missed. Now Ash Chu's gonna shock ya. Oh, so close. Take a chance and throw in a Mega Punch. It didn't miss. Losing stinks. Yeah, kind of does. I came down here to show off to the girls. Well, um, sorry to ruin your image. Alright. Not Arctis is good enough. Now Ashu can take the lead and deal with all the bats that we're going to come across. Then right up here is going to be uh, this guy. Whoa! You shocked me! Oh, you're just a kid! Now unfortunately, this guy's Pokemon are going to be immune to Ashu. And even Mega Punch is not going to be very helpful. It is not a fighting type attack like you would expect. Therefore, it is time for me and Erica to get our kicks. I might have to consider letting Diddy fight some more. Because it's going to be a little bit before we get another Pokemon. I can take care of this. It's kind of interesting how when that noise is happening, you don't have to wait for the level up theme to play before moving on. Maybe I will go ahead and throw Diddy in. Or Red will. Red, go, th go ahead and uh, throw Diddy in. Diddy is much more adept at kicking things. Now, the interesting thing about low kick is, in newer games, the amount of damage that low kick causes is partly dependent on how heavy the opponent is. But in this game, I think it's just straight damage. Otherwise, low kick would be doing a crap ton of damage to that onyx. Oh hey, that's right, low kick can flinch. That's handy. Too bad double kick doesn't do that. Takes care of you. Wow! Shocked again! That whole shocked message would be a whole lot better if Ashu could have done anything in this fight. Kids like you shouldn't be here. Well, too bad. Moonstone. All right. These Zubats should be cannon fodder for you, Ashchu. 
Look at that. One hit kill. It wasn't even a critical hit. Of course, it was only at level 7. Wonder if we can find any more Pokemon here to catch before we leave. I thought there was an item up here. Unless it's invisible. Was it invisible? Or did we come this way for no good reason? Apparently we came that way to just get into an encounter. Clefairy? Already, we already have one of those. Hmm, growl. Well, you know what? Uh, I need to use the potion on us before I bring us in. Oh gosh. That, that Clefairy's got some good defense there. Clefairies are rare and they're kinda tough. Alright, time for some potions. Starting to run out, but we're not that far out from the end of the dungeon. I'll hold off on the other two for the moment. And then we have this Team Rocket member. This was the toughest trainer in the game in red and blue. He had Eradicate that new Hyper Fang, and Hyper Fang is... painful. But I think he got nerfed for yellow. And yeah, there were girls in here. I know I am six minutes late to responding to your question, lit, but yes, there were girls in here. There was the girl with the Clefairy and the girl with the Oddish and Bellsprout. Alright. Ashchu, you're not going to do this fight. It's going to be either me or Erica. What are our stat differences? Kind of interested in like attack and defense or not attack and defense attack and special 18 and 15 22 and 18 well I'm definitely uh, stronger than Erica it seems this even despite the fact that red caught me at a higher level well that means Erica could probably use a little bit more training than me Little kids should leave grown-ups alone. Don't talk down to Red like that. Red is going to be a Pokemon master. Okay, only a Rattata, and I don't think it's going to know Hyper Fang. Double Kick is going to get us pretty far in the game. It's not going to be one of our final attacks, but it's going to be useful for a while. Alright, Zubat, that can only mean one thing. So we're doing this again, huh? Erica is low on health, so, um... By the way, in case you're wondering why Red is tossing us around like this, it's because... Supersonic and Confusion immediately wears off when you're switched out. Oh, that was painful. And that is why Red switched to me and not Erica. Stop that! Do not want confusion. You know what? Let's see how you like confusion. The ultimate confusion. Ha! 
Ha! I'm steamed! Well, at least you're not broiled. Pokemon lived here long before people came. That is normally how things work. Alright. Uh, definitely a good thing Red bought all these potions. Good enough for the moment. I feel like there's a hidden item somewhere in here. Don't get in the way, Ashchu. Oh wait, I remember where the hidden item was. I already got it. It was in that rock right up here. Alright, I think there's three more trainers in this cave, and then we're out of here. Yay, paralysis! Oh, come on! Supersonic isn't that def that accurate when I'm trying to use it. Oh, for Pete's sake. I'd rather take the damage from Leech Life than risk taking damage from hitting yourself. You'd be surprised how much hitting yourself hurts. This is why people don't like Zubats. Let's see, there's a trainer right over here, I think? You guys are nothing but cannon fodder. Alright, now Red's gonna wanna use a potion on Ashchu. So far, Mega Punch is working pretty well. Two potions left after this. Okay, there's two trainers. No, wait, they got, there, there is three trainers left. I just remembered who the third trainer is. Or I should say, who the third trainers are. Alright. There's going to be a trainer right up here. Actually, all three of the remaining trainers here are completely unavoidable. I think they're the only trainers in this dungeon that are unavoidable. The rest you could dodge in some way. Mm. I guess Diddy's going to deal with this one. Personally, I would have liked Erica to get in this attack, or this fight, but Red's the trainer. Meaning, I meant to choose Erica, but I chose Diddy by accident. Oh, that trainer! Oh, oh, okay. In red and blue, there is an another Team Rocket member right up there. But that trainer is not here in this version. Also, there is another I hidden item here. Another Moonstone! And then there is that trainer right there. Hmm. 
Definitely gonna want to switch to somebody else before we're going after that trainer. That trainer, I think, has... Oh my goodness. These high-level Zubats. That trainer, I think, has... Magnemite, Coughing, and Voltorb. Frankly, Red is not going to want Ashu dealing with any of those. So let's see here. Could thing make it could make things easy since one of them is going to be poisonous. Nah, save Pepe for the trainer after. Instead, Throw an Erica, and I'll probably get into this fight as well. Save just in case. Man, it must be pretty cloudy outside. It is dark in my house. Hey, stop! I found these fossils! They're both mine. Well, you can have them. We just want to pass through. Ah, fine. We'll fight. Oh, it's a Grimer. That might be a problem. That's definitely a problem. You know what? Pepe seems like a good choice after all. This confusion is going to carry us for a while. Um... Oh, okay. In most of the Pokemon games, Disable disables your most recent attack, but in this game, it's kind of random which gets disabled. Which makes it kind of useless. But man, had it disabled confusion. Alright, level 4 Erica. And level for Pepe! It's too bad it's not showing how much these stats increase. Just need to know they're increasing. Usually, anyway. Sometimes certain stats don't go up. Ooh, poison powder. I am suddenly finding myself a little bit jealous. Here I am, a poisonous Pokemon, and the first person on my team who learns a poisonous attack? is the Pokemon that isn't even a poison type. There's that Voltorb I knew we would be going up against. Let me handle it. Yeah, this won't be too difficult. Hmm, horn attack or double attack? Or double kick? I'll use my horn. And then I'll follow up with Double Kick. See which of these is more useful. Ah, uh, they're about the same effectiveness. But I like using my horn. I have a horn normally, but I don't normally use it to attack with. So, taking advantage of it while I can. Alright, level up for me. And coughing. I'll go ahead and continue this fight for the moment. Mainly because it knows- ooh, gosh. That caused a little bit more damage than I expected it to. Pepe, you're gonna- you're, you're probably gonna get poisoned if that small gets off against you, but Fusion is definitely going to be super helpful for this. Okay, good. It did not use smog against you. Alright. Cool. Okay, I'll share! 
Well, you don't have to share. Like I said, we were just passing... Oh, okay. We'll each take one. No being greedy. So we got the Helix Fossil and the Dome Fox Fossil. So... Close to the end of the game, we will be able to use these fossil to revive an ancient Pokemon. And what we revive depends on which fossil we take. Helix fossil or dome fossil. Ultimately, it doesn't matter. Red's not interested in either of the Pokemon. But I'm a little curious what happens with Ashchu if I pick the, if Red picks this Pokemon. Ashchu jumped out of the way. Far away on Cinnabar Island, there's a Pokemon lab. They do research on regenerating fossils. Yeah, I kind of already explained that. Alright. Let's see here. Pepe, you've taken a bit of damage, but you're about to be pretty useful for us. It is time for a boss fight, exclusive to this game. This is not the boss fight. Stop right there! It is Jesse and James from the cartoon. That fossil is Team Rockets! Surrender now or prepare to fight! Unfortunately, they do not do their entire motto. They just kind of reference it. Also, they're just named Rocket, just like the regular Rocket grunts around here. So, it's a shameless cameo. But they do have the Pokemon that they have from the TV show. And it is kind of neat that they're included. Uh, you could have dealt some damage against Pepe, but no, you had to leer. Well, means Pepe is going to take more damage from whoever's next. And it's Meowth! Meowth is actually going to fight! This Meowth, this Meowth does not talk, but it does fight. I don't think Meowth in the cartoon... Well, Meowth in the cartoon did fight, but rarely. Alright. Erica, you can handle a Meowth, right? Just kick it a bunch. Hmm, might have to get healed during this. Oh, that ain't helpful. I think you can still handle this, so... Oh. Definitely need to use a potion, though. I'm actually reminded of one episode in... Somewhere during the Kanto League... Oh, this is the last potion. Somewhere during the Kanto League... Where Team Rocket took part in a tournament, and... You needed a certain amount of Pokémon in order to battle. And... Meowth was included in the fight, but it took him a moment before he remembered that he was a Pokémon. Therefore, he could take part. And then he was instantly defeated. That's kind of funny. Alright, another level for Pepe. And Pepe's trying to learn Stun Spore. How unfortunate that I have to make this decision while listening to this noise. Get rid of String Shot. That's never going to get used. Alright, we need a switch. 
Let's switch. Switch to who? Ashu. Not the best choice for this. Ashu's probably going to get poison. But... This will be helpful. And so it was. Alright, Thundershock or Mega Punch? Which is going to be more useful in this? Tell you what, it's not Thundershock. Mega Punch caused a little bit more damage. So, I'm glad Red taught Mega Punch to Ash Chew. That's not good. That is so not good. Nope. Time to switch. How unfortunate that we're out of potions. Take a chance. Pepe, see if you can't, um, confusion it to oblivion. Or at least make it faint. Oh, so close! Don't be sleepy, I'm supposed to be entertaining! A brat beat us? Team Rocket, blast off at the speed of light! That is supposed to be part of your introduction, not your your exit. Uh, how do you feel about this, Ashchu? That's pretty good. I am glad that Ashu is getting happy. For the most part, Ashu's happiness is not going to be important. You know what? No. Let's just leave. For the most part, Ashu's happiness is not going to be important. But... There is one Pokemon I want on my team... That does require Ashu to be at a certain level of happiness. Alright! We are out of Mount Moon! Out for Mount Moon to Cerulean City. As soon as we hop off somewhere. Ooh! Secret item! Right? Oh, don't step. You can't pick it up if you're standing on top of it. Yeah, there it is! Ooh, a great ball! It's gonna be a little bit before we actually have a use for that, but it'll be handy for the future. Alright, somewhere around here, I know there is a ledge where if we jump off, it'll be no return to Mount Moon. Not for a long while, anyway. I feel like there's supposed to be a couple of people around here who will give you a TM. But I guess that's in a different version of the game. Speaking of TMs, TM of 4. Let me guess, Mega Kick? No, Whirlwind. That's a useless attack. It basically means you use an attack to make Pokemon run away instead of running away yourself. And it only works in random encounters. In future games, it allows you to blow away your opponent's Pokemon in a battle, in a, in a trainer battle that is, but... In this game, yeah, it's useless. I'm gonna sell that in the next town. Alright, we cannot reach you right now. Not gonna worry about the grass, just gonna move on. And that was the ledge that has blocked us from reaching Mount Moon again. On the bright side, new town! Let's, let's start with healing. <sighs> I feel better now. What do all what do all y'all have to say? Have you heard about Bill? Everyone calls him a Pokemaniac. I think people are just jealous of Bill though. 
Who wouldn't want to boast about their Pokémon? Hey, I get to boast about being a Pokémon! Look at me! I'm a Nidoran! Bow bow! And that sort of thing. It is fun! Even if I don't have a tail... anymore. Bill has lots of Pokémon! He collects rare ones, too! Uh, this Bill person sounds like somebody we are going to want to meet. That Bill. I heard that he'll do whatever it takes to get rare Pokemon. That reminds me. We collected a couple of, um, Moonstones in Mount Moon. Clefairy is one of several Pokemon that evolves with them. So, just for the sake of filling up Red's Pokedex. Not Erica. Go ahead and deposit one of us and get out that Clefairy to evolve it. And just like that, instant evolution. Clefable. It's like Clefairy, except much more huggable. Check out his Pokédex info. Clefable, the fairy Pokémon. They appear to be very protective of their own world. Their own world. Does it, what? I mean, I know Clefairy supposedly came from the moon. Is that what this is talking about? It is a kind of fairy, rarely seen by Pokémon. But this was before the fairy type came to be. That wasn't until much later in the series. In the meantime, Clefairy and Clefable are just normal Pokémon. Alright, not interested in training this. So let's get back Diddy. Did we talk to you yet? Yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and explore town a bit. Go this way first. Cerulean City. A mysterious blue aura surrounds it. Thanks to the Super Game Boy. Love the Super Game Boy. Cerulean City Pokemon Gym. Leader Misty. The tomboyish mermaid. Oh, we get to fight a mermaid? No, not really. That's just her nickname. You're a trainer too? Collecting, fighting, it's a tough life. And you think it's rough for a trainer? Try being a Pokemon. Electro Tackle! No, you blew it again! Electro turned away. Electrode took a snooze. Electrode ignored order. But them. Electrode ignored orders. It's just gonna say random messages of not doing anything. This is obviously a traded electrode. Traded Pokemon, unless you have the right badges, will kind of ignore their trainer. Unless they have the right badges, because a badge is a sign of being a good trainer. That reminds me. I'm gonna have to take part in some trades during this adventure. Need to find the right Pokemon to do those. Use Repel to keep bugs and, po and weak Pokemon away. Put your strongest Pokemon at the top of the list for best results. Repel is weird like that. Have you seen any rare candy? It's supposed to make Pokemon go up on level. Yep. Red found one in that cave. Speaking of items... Need some potions. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be all of our money, isn't it? Well, first things first. We don't want this... TM04. TM04. 
So that's a little bit more money. How much does... Oh! They do not want you selling something as important as a moonstone. Well, not gonna sell it then. I got three Pokeballs. Not really interested in buying any more for the moment. So let's just focus on buying some potions. And six will do for the moment. It is too bad that you cannot refight trainers in this game. Because trainers are typically your only source of income, aside from selling the occasional item. Which means, it's actually possible to permanently run out of money in this game. That would be unfortunate. Trainer tips. Pressing B button during evolution cancels the whole process. Good advice. I actually already used that information with um, Pepe. Grass and caves handled easily. Bike shop. We'll go in there momentarily. First, what's up with you? I want a bright red bicycle. I'll keep it at home so it won't get dirty. What's the point of owning a bike if you're not going to ride it? A shiny new bicycle. And that's not a thing. A plain city bike is good enough for me. You can't put a shopping basket on an MTB. MTB? Motorbike? These bikes are cool, but they're way expensive. Aw, oh, they can't be that much. Hi! Welcome to our bike shop. Have we got just the bike for you? Let me get my screen back. Thank you. It's a cool bike. Do you want it? Bicycle. One million Poke Dollars. Uh, my screen shutting off ruined the timing of this joke. But, yeah. One million Poke Dollars for a bicycle. So, that would be around the equivalent of 10,000 US dollars. Th that what? No bike costs $10,000 or does it? I'm kind of curious now. Is there a bike that costs $10,000? Should totally look that up. Most ex Expensive bike. Huh. I guess there are bikes that cost that much. Oh gosh, like forty six thousand dollars, sixty thousand. Oh my goodness, they keep going up. Five hundred thousand dollars for a bike? Butterfly Trek Madone. What the heck is a Butterfly Trek Madone? It's not even a bike you can ride. It's art using a bike. Oh, not only is it art using a bike, but the bike was rode by Lance Armstrong in the 2009 Tour de France. That is an expensive bike. You know, it would be funny to buy that thing, and then... Instead of hanging it up like the art it is, you take it down and start riding it and get mud all over it. That'd be the sort of thing a rich person would do, right? It reminds me of years ago, when I was a kid, my uncle bought me a model card on a stand, and it was supposed to be a display piece, a collectible. But of course, I took it off the stand and 
decided to just go ahead and play with it like a toy. Because I wasn't interested in models, I was interested in toys. You're making an, an encyclopedia on Pokemon? That sounds amusing. What do you mean by amusing? That bush in front of the shop is in the way. There might be a way around. This is like the first time the game has indicated that these bushes, if that's what you call it, is actually something of importance. Alright, what's in here? A couple of Pokemon. A few Pokemon, actually. Got a Noddish. Got a Sandshrew. And a Bulbasaur. Which is actually the first Pokemon that sound that makes a sound like its name, like in the TV show. I take care of injured Pokemon. I nurse this Bulbasaur back to health. It needs a good trainer to take care of it now. This is the Pokemon that I was talking about earlier, where your Pikachu needs to be at a certain level of ha happiness. I'm not going to be able to have that Bulbasaur on my team for a little little bot. Not yet. Anything in the trash? Nope. I'll come back to you in a moment. But first, there's a hidden item in here. Another rare candy! If I come back to this town later and Ashu is not happy to happy enough for the Bulbasaur to join. A couple of rare candies will fix that. Five points of happiness with every level. Right, right, I want to talk to you. Pokemon badges are owned only by skilled trainers. I see you have at least one. Those badges have amazing secrets. Now then, which of the eight badges should I describe? Alright, let's find out. Boulder Badge. The attack of all Pokemon increases a little bit. It also lets you use Flash anytime you desire. And what about the Cascade Badge? I wasn't done talking to you. Welcome back, Lit. You're gonna wanna rewatch when I went to the bike shop earlier, at some point, had a little discussion about the price of bikes, found some interesting information on how expensive bikes can actually get. Alright, Cascade Badge. Pokemon up to level 30 will obey you. This goes back to what I mentioned earlier about how traded Pokemon kind of don't respect you until you get a certain amount of badges. Any higher, they become unruly. It also lets you use cut outside of battle. Actually, I suppose you would know about the bike. You've played this game before. You know how expensive it is. You can't even hold a million Poke Dollars in this game. Thunder Bash. Speed of all Pokemon increases a little bit. It also lets you use fly outside of battle. That's handy. Rainbow Badge. Level 50 obey you. Also lets you use strength outside of battle. Soul Badge. Defense of all Pokemon increases. And you can use Surf outside of battle. Marsh Badge up to level 70 they obey you and that's it. Volcano Badge. Your Pokemon special abilities increase a bit. Hmm. Lastly is the Earth Badge. All Pokemon will obey you. I really like the, the badges in this game. They become lame in later games. Like in this game, some of them increase your stats, which is cool. And of course there's a whole deal with Pokemon obeying you. But also there's this situation where you can't use certain attacks outside of battle until you've acquired the right badge. But in later games, they kind of drop their usefulness, and they become nothing but 
Traded Pokemon will obey you. And that's it. No usefulness of attacks, no stat boosts. It's unfortunate and lame and kind of boring. Which is why I wanted to go through all of those descriptions to point out how cool they can actually be. These poor people here were robbed. We're positive that Team Rocket is behind this terrible deed. Even our police force has trouble with the rockets. Y'all suck. Also, this is Officer, Officer Jenny from the cartoon. Alright. What do I want to do now? I could go to the gym. But the trainer here, Misty, is really difficult if I go there now. So I'm actually going to wait until a little bit before going after her. $1,000 for a bike? Well, that's still not as expensive as the bike in the shop in this game. Hmm... What do... Who do I, who does Red want in the lead? Start with Ashu. I think I'm pr basically done in town, aside from the gym. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and move on. Also save. And guess who it is? Yo! Red! You're still struggling along back here? I'm doing great. I caught a bunch of strong and smart Pokemon. Here, let me see what you caught, Red. Alright. I'm gonna show ourselves off. In battle! You only have four Pokemon on your team. Ha! Red has six! Okay, the good news is Spearow is going to be weak against Lightning. The bad news is maybe should have rethought this situation. That is a level difference that I am not happy to see. That is... Oh. It's a good thing Ashu's in there first. Yeah, you go ahead and growl. That's not going to affect Thundershock. And I do mean keep using growl. Uh-oh. Oh no, please don't hit five times. Oh, please don't hit more than two times. No, 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 no! No! Oh, there goes some of Ashu's happiness. Oh, should have went after Misty. Oh, thank goodness that missed. Definitely gonna need those uh, rare candies now. Oh, good thing that missed. Keep missing, please. Confusion! Yay! Needed at that level. And now you're trying to learn Sleep Powder. As far as I remember, Sleep Powder and those other powder attacks are not very accurate. It'll be more useful than Poison Powder, though. Ranata. How about that Sleep Powder? Hey, it was accurate enough. Ooh, critical hit. Alright, I want one of us uh, elder folks to get in some action here. Let me get in there. Where am I? There I am. Don't wake up! 
Oh no! Not hyper thing! Uh, uh, uh. You were supposed to sleep longer than that! Okay, we need to get these closer to the top of the list. Hit select. And... There. Heal me! My gosh, heal me! Don't use sand attack, you jerk! Well, that'll make healing me completely pointless. Because I'll need to be switched out. Ooh, critical hit! And I think in early games, yeah, if the first hit critical hits, all the hits critical hit. I am happy with this. That is not... That I'm not happy with that. I am being mesmerized by your tail and I don't like it. And that sand attack is screwing me over. I can totally win this. I can totally win this. I can't win this. Next! Somebody! Anybody! Please help me! Oh, good. No, I think the chance for critical hit affects all hits. So, if the first hit is not a critical hit, none of the hits are a critical hit. Oh. Unfortunate fight is unfortunate. But at least we won. Hey! Take it easy! You take it easy! You won already! Hey, guess what? I went to Bill's and got him to show me his rare Pokemon? That added a lot of pages to my Pokedex. Yeah, too bad they don't actually count unless you catch the Pokemon. Oops. After all, Bill's world famous as a Pokemaniac. He invented the Pokemon storage system on PC. Since you're using his system, go thank him. Well, I better get rolling. Smell ya later! I feel like I need a bath now. I probably smell like po uh, like Nidoran ne ne B.O. Alright, well, Ran's gonna head back to the Pokemon Center and revive Ashchu. That was unfortunate. That was unfortunate on so many levels. No, not talking to you. Rez trying to talk to Ashchu. And Ashchu's not going to be happy about this. Or maybe Ashchu's not feeling terribly bad. What was the deal with that hopping? Hold on, let's go back to this building. Because hopping is supposed to be a good thing, right? Nope, not quite there. Well, at least Ashu doesn't feel too bad about being kicked into the dirt. Alright, now what? Well, guess we move on. At least the trainers further up are not going to be as painful. Actually, Red's gonna go back to the Pokemart and buy a few more potions after that. A couple of antidotes wouldn't hurt either. Not concerned about repels, we're not gonna be going through any dungeons for...
quite a while now. All right, let's move on and better. Actually, trying to decide on something. You know what? Diddy, you were useful, but me and Erica know double kick now. You might be more adept at fighting, but at the same time, you're kind of obsolete. And Red's gonna get another Pokemon real soon here. So, bye, Diddy. Alright, it is time to move on to Nugget Bridge. Oh, it's gonna be nice reaching the end of Nugget Bridge, let me tell you. Astro is at the lowest level now. Need to fix that. This is Nugget Bridge. Beat us five trainers and win a fabulous prize. Think you got what it takes? Actually, you're going to have to fight six trainers before you get through the bridge. Bugcatcher. Caterpie. Okie dokie. Just punch it. Nice. That was a well, well connected punch. Do that again. Good job. And not dealing with poison. One of my favorite things about being a poisonous Pokemon, not only being poisonous, but being immune to poison. Uh, the downside is that double kicking this Pokemon is not going to be very strong. Then again, scratching it wasn't very strong either. What's double kick going to do? Okay, yep, yeah, scratch is better. So lit, how much longer until your flight, supposedly? Alright, one down. That was easy. Woo! Good stuff. Not much money for that. I did my best. I have no regrets. Oh yeah, they're all gonna say that. That's kinda lame. That's unfortunate. I'm second. Now it's serious. Well, you're not a bug trainer, so anything could be serious. Pidgey? Alright. Ashu's got this. Oh boy, that quick attack. That quick attack is going to be unfortunate for quite a while. Because you never know when that hit, it, when that attack is going to get thrown at you. And it always goes first. Even if you're paralyzed. Anitarin? Glad I'm not fighting it. Pepe, you're not going to be one of the final Pokemon on Red's team. But you're still going to be useful for a little while. You might as well finish this fight. Eh, 
can, that's that. How could I lose? Well, um, Red had a Pikachu. That, that kind of has something to do with it. Did my best have no regrets. Yeah, they're gonna say the same thing. You know what? Red's right near a Pokemon Center. There's no reason to use up potions. After Nugget Bridge, then Red can start using up potions to save time. You know... There is one disadvantage to having a while having a Pokemon follow you in this game. It makes the visits to the Pokemon Center take just a little bit longer, cause gotta have that animation of Ash Chu hopping up onto the counter. I like how these trainers start off by facing downward when they appear on screen. It's like they're watching for you. Here's number three. I won't be easy. I wonder how young these youngsters actually are. Because Red is 10, but these youngsters look younger. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, it looks like I'm joining the fight. I'm gonna go ahead and kick that Rattata. Ow! I don't want to kick that Rattata. I don't want to be in this fight. Don't put me in this fight. You left me in the fight. You left me in the fight. Don't. Oh, I better kick this good. Ugh. Ugh. Don't use Hyperfang again, please. Definitely don't use Hyper Fang again, please. Oh my, that, that Hyper Fang. The quick attack is bad enough, but Hyper Fang is worse. Okay, cool. I can totally handle an Ekans. I got this. This is so much easier than a Rattata. I don't, I don't want to fight that. Don't. Okay. Ashu's got this. <sighs> I feel like we're a little under-leveled. Normally, when I get to this point, I do some level grinding to take on Misty. It's a lot harder when you skip the level grinding. Ow! Stunt flat! Yeah, I, I kind of like having double kick. Moving on then? Alright. I'm number four. Getting tired? Maybe a little. Ooh, a Pidgey. I bet Ashu is happy to see a Pidgey. Now the quick attack is still kind of painful. Not anywhere near as bad as Hyper Fang. Didn't we have this fight already? Also, I'm pretty sure Nidoran's evolved at level 16. It's not poisonous yet, though. 
Nidorans don't learn Poison Sting until level 17. Which is kind of a little bit late, because Poison Sting is not a terribly strong attack. I lost two! I did my best, so I've no regrets. I think you said that differently than the others. Yeah. So they're not exactly the same. Okay, what are we doing now then? Still going? Cool. Okay, I'm number five. I'll stomp you. Great. Stomped one trainer, and now we're going to get stomped back. Oh, you only have one Pokemon. It's going to be high level. You're the last trainer, too. Oh, Mickey, 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 Mickey. You know what? Fighting against poison? Not terribly strong. Don't do that again. Oh gosh, critical hit. Oh gosh, that's... That is... You did it again! Oh. Oh, that's right. Oh, I forgot. Hmm. There is a bug in the original games in regards to attacks like Karate Chop. They have a ridiculously high chance of getting a critical hit. And they are not fighting type attacks, so any one of us could go down because of it. Well, I was hoping we wouldn't have to head back to the Pokemon Center before getting the reward, but... I'm gonna have to get back to the Pokemon Center before getting our reward. Oh, what's this? Double Team? Trying to decide. Double Team is basically a reverse sand attack. Instead of lowering the opponent's defense or, ev or, or accuracy, it raises your own evasion. But how useful is that really gonna be? Because it only raises evasion by like one level. And as soon as you switch out, it's not so useful anymore. At least Growl would stick with your opponent when you switch. So no, not learning Double Team. Whoa! Too much! I did my best, have no regrets. Erica's fainted. Oh, Red's moving on anyway. Congratulations! You beat our five contest trainers! You just earned a fabulous prize! A nugget. Well, at least it's a good prize. By the way, would you like to join Team Rocket? We're a group dedicated to evil using Pokemon. Want to join? Are you sure? Come on, join us! I'm telling you to join! Okay, you need convincing. I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. Surprise, surprise. Apparently, Nugget Bridge is nothing but a ruse to bribe kids into joining Team Rocket. And unfortunately, it worked on at least five kids. Oh, La not Lantis is back into the fray. Alright. I think not Lantis can be poisoned, but will still be strong against Poison Sting. Look at that, that was a critical hit and still only caused a couple points of damage. There's that poison. 
which means take damage after every turn. But Red has antidotes. And those sand attacks are going to have been useful. Especially against Rap. Hopefully, Notlantis doesn't get poisoned again. It's kind of an annoying healing poison only to just get poisoned right back. Oh, so close. Could have avoided being wrapped. Well, alright then. Oh, a Zubat. I think it's time for Ash to come in. Watch Ash to get immediately supersonic or something like that. Ooh, that was kind of painful. Uh, one handy feature of future games is an option to immediately just use your most recently used item. Here, we kind of have to scroll. Okay, you're going to have to not do that. You know what? This isn't working too well. Zubats, not very good on your own team, but they're annoying to fight. Arr, you are good. And we get another $450 on top of the nugget. With your ability, you could become a top leader in Team Rocket. Sounds promising, but Red's not up for that. Alright, well, before we head to the Pokemon Center, we got this kid. I'm not good at raising Pokemon. I should release my Charmander because I haven't raised it well. If you promise me you'll care for it, it's yours. And we got a Charmander! Yay! And this Pokémon! This is a Pokémon! So let's see here... Play through images, Pokémon... So, welcome the newest member of our team! Now, the question is, what to name it? Because every member of Red's team gets a nickname. Could call it Red Jr. But not entirely sure I like the implications of that. Oh, I know! So, in the cartoon, Ash wound up getting a Charmander in a similar fashion. Basically, it just wound up getting onto his team. But it was a Charmander owned by a trainer named Damien. And I'm not sure how to spell Damien. Let me double check the spelling. Maybe Google will tell me a better spelling. Is it A-N or E-N? Either or, I guess. Maybe there was a sp an official spelling. Pokemon. It is A-N. 
Alright. So, this might not actually be Damien, but it's going to be named after Damien. Okay! Hi, Ty Dusbloon. Your First off, your name is fun to say. Ty Dusbloon. But also, I'm the Nidoran. For this adventure, I am not the trainer. The trainer is Red. And I am one of the Pokemon that Red has captured. Along with my twin sister, Erica, who is not in the stream. Meanwhile, Ashu is Ash reincarnated. That is kind of a theme of this adventure. The three Pokemon up top, me, my sister, and Ashu, are people who have been turned into Pokemon and are now being trained by Red. It's a it's just a fun little gimmick for the sake of a gimmick. TM45 what is TM-45? Thunder Wave. Can any of us use that? No. That's too bad. Might want to hold on to it just in case. Because Thunder Wave is definitely a good attack. Alright, we're just going to take us back to the Pokemon Center because we definitely need some healing. Especially Erica. Oh, that reminds me. Damien! Starting off at level 10. That's too bad. I'm gonna take a little bit of work to catch Damien up. But at least he, at least he starts with a fire attack. That's gonna be useful. Ooh, definitely useful. There's a couple trainers up ahead that use grass Pokemon. Let's check the Pokedex while I'm thinking about it. No, on second thought, let's heal. It is not a fun thing being fainted, I would imagine. I haven't fainted yet. But Erica and Ashtu have. Okay, now we can check the Pokedex. Charmander! The lizard Pokemon. The flame at the tip of its tail makes a sound as it burns. You can only hear it in quiet places. I think this is the only time that the noise of a Charmander's flame is mentioned. I'm actually kind of curious what it must sound like. I mean, one would assume that it sounds like something burning, but at the same time, the fact that they actually reference it Maybe it sounds kind of unique. Like, maybe it's kind of like a whistle or a squeal. I don't know. Hey, Google. Let's, let's, uh, tell me if there's like a sound of a Charmander's flame. Of a Charmander's flame. Is there any information on this? Sound. No. Nobody's really explored this one bit of flavor text. And yeah, this is the only game that references the sound of a Charmander's flame. That's kind of interesting. Oh! Alright, bye, Lit. I am glad to have entertained you. That was the point of doing this stream now, and... Well, now that, uh... You're off to ride a plane off to a furry convention. I guess I can go ahead and end the stream. I've been streaming for a couple hours now and I'm hungry anyway. I kind of miss lunch and it is 3.39 p.m. So, yeah. Down at the bottom of the screen is all of my patrons. This is definitely a good ending point since I got a Charmander on my team now. And next time we will continue off to see Bill. And then, who knows what else. Maybe we'll fight Misty? That'll be fun. I'll see you then!